Hey Gemini, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and we're going to see what's going on for you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for September, okay? And um, if it resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I also offer personal love readings. All the details are in the description box. You can also go to my Etsy shop. I offer email tarot readings as well. So a quick turnaround. If you only have one or two questions, it's a great um, you know, thing to take advantage of. And I also am back with my bonus extended readings. How does your partner feel? So that is up on Vimeo for September. And let's jump right in, okay? I do have a sale coming up, okay, for Labor Day. Everything on my Etsy shop will um, more than likely be 10% off, bare minimum, okay, from personal readings to my tarot oracle deck. So check that out. I will have that probably within the next day or two, okay? All right, Gemini, let's jump right in. What's Gemini going through in love? Clear messages for Gemini. Cross watchers, you're welcome to hear. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. What is the current energy here for Gemini? All right, we got the Five of Cups in reverse. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. And we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. So there's something here that stopped moving, okay? There's been broken communication. There's been a lack of action and change. Um, and I feel like it's because someone here was very indecisive in the past. Someone didn't really know what they wanted, okay? It could be a Leo Sag Aries. I'm also seeing a lot of sadness and a lot of disappointment. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, Gemini, neither one of you guys have really been able to get over this. There's been, um, there's an energy of like, sorrow and feeling guilty feeling regretful for how something happened or something that may have not been able to happen regarding you and them okay because there's definitely i'm getting silence and no action being taken from neither one of you or your person now give me the recent past here for gemini and this person in a recent past we have the star aquarius energy we have the queen of cups in reverse and we have the wheel in reverse. So yeah, I'm getting in a recent past, something stopped moving. There was a lack of change. The wheel in reverse is that things were not moving down the right path, okay? You may have felt like everything you did, this person just didn't appreciate you, okay? There's the energy of you not wanting to give up, not losing hope on the connection, Gemini. It's like you really wanted something. But you got to a point where you were feeling unloved. You felt unappreciated. You felt like this person didn't really truly care for you. And as much as you wanted to save the connection, heal it, and be optimistic that this person will change, you know, it just seemed like you were going further down in the rabbit hole with this person. So I do feel that's where things um, are right now. So let's see what's on your mind, Gemini. Let's see how this person views you. Gemini, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the High Priestess in Reverse, and we have the Ace of Swords. So, Gemini, there may be something here that was revealed to you, okay? You know, this could be um, a secret, this could be something here within yourself, okay? This could be just using your intuition. But what I'm seeing is that there's a new there's a new change in direction. The Ace of Swords, some of you guys, you got clarity on a situation or you're looking for clarity. The Ace of Swords are really about truth and clarity. We're going to find out what this is all about. What I'm seeing, Gemini, is that your person sees you as moving forward, doing something that you're passionate about. Um, this this connection is has been really challenging because I'm just getting that there was no direction, right? Maybe you could, could have been dealing with someone who's just been very in and out, and so you had no choice but to also do the same, okay? But I also see, Gemini, there's something about you wanting a victory and maybe even moving toward getting that victory after finding out some truth here. Something was revealed to you. We're going to see what that's all about, okay? All right, so Gemini, let's see what's going on in the foundation with this person. What are you not aware of? What are you not seeing? So we got the King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. We got the Page of Swords in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the King of Cups in reverse. And we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So what I'm seeing is there's definitely a lot of court cards. There's definitely a lot of people involved, okay? Um, I feel like this is someone who's been holding back their truth. This is someone who may not be as honest, okay? And you may have spotted that out. You may have, like, put your finger on that. Um, there could have been something that this person told you that you made... You, you felt like it just didn't make sense, okay? I feel like this is someone who has difficulty time in um, giving you what you need. You know, there's something here about this person not being committed, but also it could be the fact that there's a lot of other people in the mix, right? We have a Leo Sag Aries, we have a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo Capricorn, and a King of Cups. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like other people definitely was meddling in a connection. It may have caused a lot of indecision with this person here with the two of wands. And I feel like this is someone you may have even caught in the act of lying to you. And that may have made you pull back. Let's see. Um, let's see what the outcome is. And we're going to clarify as needed. We have the world card here. Four of swords. The hair font in reverse. Okay. So coming into the near um, future, we do have the energy of Gemini, you resting. Okay. There's something about healing, resting from this connection. It may have brought a lot of stress and conflict, but I also feel like this four of swords is really about just taking a break from whoever this was because there's some kind of change that's taking place. And this change may take place during a time of separation where you guys are not really, um, working toward the connection you're working on yourself you're trying to better yourself there's something about you guys needing to take this break um okay because i do see that this is something here you're not committed to at this time or coming into the future there's something here about breaking a commitment or stepping away from a commitment right now in order to focus on yourself the four of swords so we're going to see what this can bring with the world card but there's some kind of positive change um or progression that's happening okay and you wouldn't get the same change unless you took a break from this connection all right let's get some more messages for you and this person gemini we're going to start off with the five of cups there's a situation here in the past that you guys haven't been able to really move away from in fact, this is you and your person. is a mutual energy of really feeling regrets and sorrow about the way something happened. Give me more clarity on a five of cups here. Two of pentacles came out and the wheel in reverse. So I feel like whoever this person is, Gemini, there's a lot of regrets about um, being indecisive, going back and forth. This is someone here who may have been indecisive about you, didn't know what they wanted, things were up, things were down. There was a lot of uncertainties and uh, indecision, okay? And that's why something here was not able to move forward in the past. There was a lot of... Um, you know, just I'm getting delays, okay? Something here was not able to move forward. And so I also feel like this is someone who could have been juggling you in another person. Now, tell me more about the two of wands. Why was this person so indecisive? There was some indecision here in the past. We have the page of cups, we have the tower, and we have the temperance in reverse. A lot of you guys, Gemini, I'm getting you lost your patience because this is someone here who could have been very flirty. They could have been giving you bare minimum, okay, in terms of showing you love and affection and loyalty. And they could have been, you know, dealing with other people. That page of cups could be, you know, flirting with other people and not spending enough time with you. And so you could have felt unloved by this person. You could have felt unappreciated. You could have really lost your patience. And I do feel like it could have even led to a tower moment here okay with right in the middle of the reading the tower so this could be a scorpio um that you're dealing with tell me more about the the eight of wands i feel like this tower may have stopped you guys from communicating or may have created a blockage in communication and forward movement of this connection tell me more about the eight of wands reverse yeah, there was some kind of betrayal ending that would left you very devastated. The Ten of Swords is completing, it's hitting rock bottom and feeling like you at your all-time low. So, you know, Gemini, I feel like you could have gone through this tower moment and it ended in the Ten of Swords where you felt very much, um, you felt devastated by some kind of ending. But I also see that whoever this person is, you guys have not um, stopped watching. They have not stopped watching you. There's the energy of still um, trying to figure out what's going on, right? This is the energy of watching the other person not really letting go, still holding on to um, a situation here. So I think your person is still very curious and interested in you is what it's telling me, even after this Ten of Swords. Phew, bless me, y'all. I'm sorry, I sneezed. <laughs> All right, in a recent past, let's find out more about the star card. Some more about the star it could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. We have the Knight of Pentacles. In reverse, we have the high priestess in reverse with the star in reverse. A lot of you guys, there's something here where you you didn't give up on this person. Even when this person, like, you know, went out of their way to hide things from you, the high priestess came out in reverse. Some of you guys, you may have found out something here that was very much a secret that they didn't want you to find out. And it's like there were situations here where you knew deep down that this is perhaps not the person for you or there were just a lot of red flags that you ignored um, because this person was not actively taking um action towards you they were not offering you the stability that you needed they were missing an action knight of pentacles and verse was just i'm getting someone who just made promises but they didn't show up they didn't deliver and a lot of you guys you still had hope and wishes that you could maybe save this connection um or that you could 
you know, heal it. But tell me more about the wheel in the verse. There's something here that was not moving in the right direction. The Hermit, the Two of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, a lot of you guys, there's a very strong connection. Like the Two of Cups is here. It could be your soulmate. But the problem is, is that someone was not really invested. You know, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, someone who was not really building was not working toward building what you wanted to build okay it's like you guys were on different pages and when it came to really moving things forward and building upon this connection i feel like this is someone that you you know you were left by yourself ultimately and i feel like you know the hermit is here because gemini you had to really think about this some more you had to really go within take a step back and really think about what you wanted because something here was not moving in the right direction and i also feel like this is someone here with the queen of cups in verse they were not loving you the way that you needed to be loved okay they were not being sensitive and aware of your needs your emotional needs so let's see what's on your mind i feel like gemini there's something here you're going in a different direction it could be a knight of wands coming in for you as well leo sag aries tell me more about the knight of wands there's something about you moving in a different direction after getting clarity on a situation. Three of Cups came out in reverse, the Magician in reverse, and the Judgment. Some of you guys, you have a Leo Sag Aries coming towards you. Um, um, but I think that this is someone here that you made a decision about, Gemini. You made a, a decision, and this is based off of what you've been seeing. Um, you've been really working on manifesting something with this person, but it's almost like Again, you're giving up. The Three of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys are you're moving away from a third party situation, or this person put you in a third party, and you didn't want that. Okay, and I'm getting that you're really um you're making a decision. You're making a final decision, saying that's it. I don't know. If this is something I want to manifest anymore. Now, tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Is some kind of truth here or clarity? And it could have been related to something that you recently found out with the High Priestess in reverse that was kept a secret from you from this person. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Chariot in Reverse, the Six of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So a lot of you guys just tell me, you may have even found out some truth, okay, during a time of rest. The Four of Swords is really taking time to yourself, regrouping, peace of mind. But there's something here about you wanting to be victorious, right? And you realizing that moving forward with this person isn't going to get there, right? There's, there's no victory there. But I think a lot of you guys, by moving in a different direction, you're getting... Um, you're going to be successful in, in accomplishing something that you've been really working hard for. And a lot of you guys, the Ace of Swords is really about, again, truth, clarity. There's something that you're finally seeing for how it truly exists, for how it really truly is. And it's coming after a period of rest, okay? So let's see, um, Gemini, let's look at this person's energy. We have a lot of people in the mix. It could be a lot of people that have a say about um, this connection or could have been interfering in the connection. Tell me more about this page of swords this is something that this person's been holding back from you maybe they've been dishonest about the knight of wands the four of pentacles in reverse and a page of wands i'm seeing gemini this person coming in with a lot of passion a lot of charm and i'm getting like that's that's something that they've been using to kind of hold on to you hold on to the connection and i'm getting the energy that now you're letting go and with that four of pentacles that you're letting go and this is this is changing things for this person. This is someone here who may even want to come towards you with this page of wands energy. There's some kind of passion exchange or communication. But I think that really it's coming after you letting go, you parting ways with this person. This person is now trying to figure out, well, what can I do better? And I'm just getting like there a lot of you guys, you can't entirely trust this person with the page of swords in reverse. Okay. They have not been very honest and truthful. And a lot of you guys are coming back just because they still want this passionate connection with you. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who may not be able to give you the stability that you need or a commitment. The Emperor came out in reverse. Queen of Cups came out in reverse. The Queen of Swords. What is going on? This person has a lot of people they're dealing with. Um, honestly, there's too much confusion. I'm getting a lot of people here, um, Gemini, and I'm getting you don't know where you stand amongst the crowd. That's what I'm here. That's what I'm hearing here. You you don't know where you stand because there's so much people this person deals with, and they have not been able to take action towards you. Right? There's been um, I'm getting a directionless connection. You have no 
idea as to what this person wants, what their true intentions are. And that's why there's been no stability. And your person still is not able to give you the stability. And partially because there's so much people in the mix. We got a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We got a Gemini Libra Aquarius here. Okay. So let's see what the outcome is. I do feel a lot of you guys, there's some kind of change taking place when you are in this four swords energy where you take a step back, you rest, you contemplate, you think about yourself, you put yourself first. Tell me more about the change that's taking place with the four of swords in the world. Seven of wands in reverse. We have the nine of swords and the knight of swords in reverse. Okay. So Gemini, there's something here about you not only pulling back, but there's something here that, that's been bringing you a lot of anxiety, stress, frustrations. And that's why you're going into four swords, right? To find peace of mind. A lot of you guys, the, the, the stress that you have is really because there's a lack of knowing. There's a lack of clarity, right? The Knight of Swords this is someone here that you may feel has been holding back from you and you haven't gotten really clarity as to why this all happened, what happened. But what's for certain is that you guys with the seven of wands of verse, you're no longer standing up for this person's wrongs. You're no longer giving them the benefit of the doubt because you've seen their true colors. And a lot of you guys, yeah, it brings a lot of frustrations and, you know, um, you're hurt. You're really disappointed by something this person has done. But I see that you guys are realizing that you can't trust this person entirely. They have not been honest with you and you still lack clarity and truth about where you stand with them. And we got the her in a bird. So this is definitely someone here that couldn't give you the commitment that you were looking for. Now, um, let me get clarity, let me get some clarity on the world with the Knight of Swords and Verse. There's something here that you are not aware of or seeing, but there's some kind of positive change coming in. Okay, we got the world again, the five of pentacles in verse with the king of cups. I feel like a lot of you guys, there's some kind of change that's taking place when this person is left out in the cold. When you leave them out in the cold, we have the king of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone here who really did not show you the love that you needed them to show you. There's something about this person missing your love and it's giving an opportunity to now um, be more comfortable with expressing their own love. Okay, there's something that's changing within them that may also allow this connection to come back together in the future. The world is indicating of some kind of, I'm getting there's some kind of big lesson here. Okay, and it may it may be something that can come back together in divine timing, but the world is indicating that, you know, there's there's something here that may stop this connection in its tracks, but it's very much beneficial, okay? And I do see that you pulling back Gemini from this person and leaving this person in this place of lack or left out in a cold is teaching them how to love, okay, with the world card. It may be doing a lot of... Um, good for this person because they not, they may not really know how to love you so that is what i'm seeing gemini like share comment and subscribe if you want to check out the extended bonus on vimeo um it's available how does your person feel it looks deeper into what's on their mind their feelings how do they view you what's in their heart space how do they want to move forward but also what's going on behind the scenes roblox challenges and the outcome so that is available for the first half of september and it's in the description box, okay? All right, Gemini, you guys have a great week. Bye.